So today I'm going to show you how to install this Crew AI project that scrapes comments from YouTube. Now, the thing that's cool about this project isn't just the fact that it uses the YouTube API, isn't just the fact that it's a more advanced Crew AI project, it's not even the fact that it scrapes the comments, formats them, and then performs sentiment analysis on each comment one by one. I think the coolest thing about this project was that it actually wasn't made by me. It was made by one of the members of my school community. So if you're trying to get better at learning AI, I definitely recommend that you join my school community. This is going to be a great place for you to collaborate, for you to hop on live calls. And maybe you have the marketing skill, but you don't have the technical skill. Well, you'll be able to find individuals there that have these technical skills so that you can work together on a project. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you do have a lot of technical skills, but don't really know how to market those skills. In that same manner, you're going to be able to find those other people that have that experience that you're looking to get. All right, so I'm going to show you real quick how this project works, then I'll show you how you can set it up. Basically, we're just going to get the link from this video right here. As you can see right here at the bottom, it has 84 comments. We already started it, so now we're going to do paste and enter. And this is using Grok, so it runs fairly fast. Here we can see the chains that are running. And again, the main steps of this is the fact that it uses the API to pull the comments. It then takes these comments, it formats them into JSON. And then once they're formatted, they're going to be analyzed and the agents are going to give a suggested reply or a suggested solution for the comment that is being given. All right, so you can see here that finished up. So let's go ahead and take a look at our comments. Here we have the raw comments, basically. And the video was related to web scraping and we see that here, the name of the YouTuber. Let's see, let's look for a comment real quick. Let's look for this one. Yep, right there, that's the first one that came up. Let's look at the raw JSON. Let's look at the final results. Here we have these different categories. We have requests, we have complaints, we have suggestions, we have praise, we have troubleshooting, and we have other. So pretty much for each category of the comments, they were sorted in JSON format. And for example, for this comment, what's the best way to get in touch? Here's the insight that's being provided by the LM. It just says viewers are seeking a way to contact the creator. And here we can kind of see the different types of feedback that the LM gave for each type of comment in its respective category. So the way you're going to install this is you're just going to open a new window on VS Code. You're going to open your terminal right here. And then we're going to do a clone of the repo and leave the code in the description. So by the way, I'm going to leave a link to the fork that I created from the original repo because I did have to make a change to one of the files and the user lives in a different time zone. But I do recommend that you do go back to the repository of the original creator and either star his content or fork it or, you know, just leave him a nice comment because he did put a lot of effort into this. And I would have just merged with his branch, but we're in very different time zones. So I don't think he saw my message in time. So we're going to do git clone in the repository. Once we do that, we're going to move into the directory of the project. So that's just CD as in change directory and YouTube comments. So now we're in the folder with the project files, as you can see right here. So now we have to start our Python environment. The way you can do that is with the command palette. And here on your screen, you can just go over here to view and then click command palette. And here you'll see this option for Python environment, but you can start typing it and it'll bring up the option for you. Create Python environment. And then this version right here, 3.12, and then just click OK. And then we're just going to close and open a new terminal window. So close it, terminal, new terminal. And here we want to make sure that our Python commands are working. So just do Python version. Again, we did close the terminals. So we need to move into the project directory once more. Again, that's CD and then just type Y and press the tab and you'll see the name of the folder and then just press enter. And now there's the part where we install the dependencies. Again, that's just pip install dash R then requirements.txt. And then you're going to press enter on here. Now, once all of these things finish installing, you do need to set up your API keys right here in this file on the left where you see that says .env. You're going to need an OpenAI API key. You're going to need a Croc API key. And you're going to need your YouTube API key. Remember, API keys are very important, so don't ever share these with anyone. And once you add your API key values here, make sure you save the file and close it. And once you do that, we're going to try running our project. The command for that is just going to be Python. And then the Python file is called analyze.py. So type that and then press enter. Here we see that our project started up and now you need to paste your YouTube URL here. So let's try this video right here. We're going to copy the link at the top and we're going to paste it in our project. Now we did get an error due to the timeout because of the token limit that the Grok LLM has. But if you take a look at the comments.json that it generated, we were still able to get pretty much about 1800 comments and I believe the video had close to it was probably around 2000 yeah 2500 comments so even at that just using the free API that Grok provides I was still able to get a good amount of data 
But of course, as I'm sure you guys know, the more text you're trying to process, the more tokens you're going to use up. If you're on a free or a trial service, then you might get a timeout error. So just keep that in mind. I'll be doing more videos in the future to talk a little bit more about the code and the structure of this project as well as possibly extending the capabilities of what this project does. And again, if you want to continue working on these kind of projects and you want to collaborate with other people or maybe get some feedback on what you're working on, I definitely recommend that you join my school community. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.